Hello and welcome back to the farm and the canola is finally growing. It's not ready to harvest, but it's it's growing. So that's something. Anyways, we are in March. Now I have passed quite a few months here and that is on purpose because there has been nothing really to do. I haven't really wanted to do any contracts, so other than that nothing has really come up that uh, that has been well th there's actually been nothing so yeah all I have been able to do has been to pass time really um, but now we are in March the canola has uh, pro progressed in one growth stage which is awesome and the chickens need a little bit of food. Well, they don't need it. They're fine. But I do want to just top it up real quick, just while we're here. And... I literally don't need any more than that, because they don't take that much. Oh yeah, and we now have a hundred, over a hundred, I should say, thousand dollars. And our first pallet of eggs has spawned. I should try and not make an omelette out of them with the tractor. That would be less than ideal. Let's see, they are not going to take any more than like 400 liters. Yep, there we go, 300 liters. Not a whole lot, but definitely something. I'm going to pour that right back into the silo. And yeah, that was, I think I passed maybe like three, two months. I think this is the third month, uh, or maybe the fourth from the last episode. I don't remember. I think we finished in December in the last episode. So this would be the fourth month, and so yeah, they really don't use, take up that much food. And I wonder actually, have they bred? We ordered, we should have 16 in total. Oh, we do have chickens! I don't know how many we have. I have no idea how many we have, 14 I think. I think we're full. I think we have... Oh wait, it says down there, animals 30, so it is full. That's awesome. So they have bread, and as soon as those chickens, so we have 14 chickens who don't lay eggs, but as soon as they do, our egg production, of course, is going to increase because we've got to get almost double of the speed in producing eggs. There we go. Attach that. Turn off the engine, and... Yeah, I guess it is on to the next month. Actually, I gotta check that the greenhouses are not missing any water. And I have been checking the used machinery as well. We don't have had... We haven't had anything that are really of interest. But let us check the greenhouses real quick. Uh, I think... Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, so this greenhouse still has 120 liters of water. This one is completely out. Okay, that is, of course, not good in any stretch of the imagination. Does that even make sense? Anyway, we're gonna <laughs> attach the tractor to the water tanker here. Right away. Just like that. And we're gonna get it filled up. But yeah, we have a hundred... A thousand dollars now, and we're gonna get more as soon as we skip over to the next month. There are a few things to consider here. Uh, wait a minute, where am I going? Over here. There are a few things we can consider. We can consider getting bees, because they, of course, are going to produce honey, and that should increase the yield in our canola, so we could maybe put some down. We could also consider sheep, because we do now have enough money to get a sheep barn, I think. So that's possible, but then we would need to feed them grass or hay. Uh, now, as I was told, we do have enough grass like on the sides and whatnot on our property to just mow down and then uh, collect it and just store it on their uh, feeding point. And we don't have to own the equipment for that. We can lease it just once or we can even buy the bales. Um, I don't know how much they actually are worth, hay bales. Let's take a quick look while this is filling up. So if we go in here, bales. Uh, well, that's a huge price difference. 
So this is 4.5. This is 8. So, yeah, so this is cheaper for sure. It doesn't say how many liters though, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, hmm. But yeah, we could we could buy it. Obviously, that is not ideal either because it's going to be probably more expensive in the long run than to mow the grass ourselves. We could also work towards getting sheep, so we could buy a field and then we could make it a grass field. So we will be able to get uh, produce our own grass, uh, grass and hay bales, even silage when we don't need sheep food. So we could do that first, prioritize doing that first, but of course that would mean that we need another field. But that is the third thing that I wanted to say is a possibility, and that is getting a new field. For example, this field. It's quite big, but we do have a big header. We do have the equipment to manage that kind of field size. And then we could turn uh, one of our other fields, like this one, into grass. We have, we have a few possibilities here. All right, I'm gonna fill this greenhouse up first. And then I'm gonna fill up the other one because that can still produce while we're doing this. And the lettuce is green again. Beautiful. But yeah, we could, we could get sheep, which is something that I want to do. I want to get some sort of animals. Cows, they just take too much for us at the moment, but sheep, sheep is a possibility and something that we can in fact, pull off. Potentially. And of course, with sheep, we would be able to sell the wool, or, in the long run, we could buy the... I think it's the... not the clothing. The fabric production, so we can produce fabric, and then we could also get the clothes production if we wanted to go that far. But yeah, we, we have actually quite a lot of options here. Just while we're filling up the water here, a sheep barn is only 51,000. It can hold 25 sheep, and of course they require grass or hay. We could also get a sheep pasture, but that's only 15 sheep. Plus we would need to fill that with water, so... Eh. Cows, much more expensive. However, we could afford it. But yeah, no, not... not. I don't think that would be a good idea at our current stage. I might get some beehives, though. I think beehives would be cool. We do have the money for it. Uh, but yeah, I think we will fill up the greenhouses here and then we're going to move on to the next month. And then we're going to see how things are looking there. I guess a fourth... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I guess a fourth of possibility would be to put back 50,000 of our loan so that we have decreased our loan from 200,000 to 100,000. That's another possibility we could do as well. But I think that would keep us stuck for way too long. I would rather spend the money so we can get even more money so we can easier pay off the loan. Otherwise, we would only be able to pay off the loan in a very slow speed, which is, yeah, not ideal. Also, this terrain, <laughs> speaking of not being ideal, this terrain is definitely not ideal for tractor driving. No matter though, we got the job done. Now I can put... I've been I've been talking for eight minutes straight. We've barely been doing anything. Wow. I do apologize. <laughs> oh dear. That is interesting actually. Do you guys enjoy that part of the content or the video? Me just talking about the planning and whatnot or do you just want to see the action I guess you can call it? Do let me know down below in the comments. Cause I don't I don't want to bore you guys. <laughs> with my thought processes. Alright, speaking of which, that is enough talking and enough yammering. I'm gonna head to bed and I'll see you in April. And yep, I'm gonna sleep with the door open because why not? Ugh, that was a cold night. I think uh, I think it rained in a little bit and also, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope I don't get a sore throat or something. That would not be fun. Anyways, we're in April. Let's quickly check the used machinery. We got anything useful? We got a plow. We don't need that. A cultivator. We don't need that either. Yep, nothing here. All right, let's check the map because at this point, because we have this much money, uh, I want to make sure we're not passing up on a great deal. 
nothing has been seeded in field 50 nor 51, I will want to either buy 51 or 50. Um, but yeah, our canola is not yet finished, but before it is ready, I don't know even if, if it's too late, I hope not, but I think I'm gonna spend some money on some bees. Buzz, buzz, bees. So, I know we will need a beehive honey pellet collection. So if I place it here, all the honey is going to gather here, which I would rather have because it's, well, near my trailer, but I could have a beehive here and I could have another beehive over here, which I think is exactly what I want to do. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I think for this area, I'm gonna place one like this. I'm gonna place it right over here. I'm thinking or I'm hoping in a way that that's going to cover these two fields. I can't really place it out here, so over here I think is gonna be good. Yep. Buzz buzz. And no pallet location, right. So where do we wanna place that? Um I guess right here in the in the uh in the shadow here is going to be ideal. Like I said, we can collect the honey here. Yep. Well, actually, hmm. Could put it here as well and then stack it up there. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, I think. I'm gonna do that there. And I want another beehive here. I don't want to use so much money on bees, though. Even though we can sell it, but maybe just a smaller one? Maybe just a smaller one. There is a difference in their, like, range and effect. I might just place a small one. Let's do it. There we go. It has been done. I think I just noticed something. Down in the right, it says yield bonus 80% or 85 here. If I go back, almost 90%. If I go back, down here it's only 70. Even goes down to 60 at times. Is that the bees having an effect in this area? It might be. It could be. I'm not sure. Oh, and you could even see the bee textures. Oh, that's sick. Okay, so it does range 50 meters. That sounds pretty good to me. Nice. Get honey at pallet location. Yeah, let's check out the pallet location. Yeah, I'm really happy with this because then when it's full, we can move the pallet away to just stand here until we're ready to sell it. I like that, and then we have another beehive area right here. A hundred meters, okay. Perfect. All right, I love it. Well, do we have any appropriate contracts? Uh, Plowing, nope. Well, we do have some sewing ones, but eh, not really interested. I think we're gonna move on to yet another month. Unless, hmm, unless we get those sheep. I should probably change my attire now that we're moving into the more warmer time of year. So maybe something like that. Maybe, no, <laughs> no, Uh, yeah, you know what, normal jeans, that will work. And shoes do we have, yep, that looks good. Hat, hmm, yep, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gloves, maybe something... Maybe no gloves. You know what? No gloves. We're gonna go no gloves. Alright. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Look at this. The canola is growing. It is looking beautiful. And so is the weather. Not bad at all. I keep hoping for a used tractor that is medium. But nope. No, no used tractor. And still nothing planted in field 50 and 51. Hmm. If we wanted to, we could spread out a little bit. Oh, it's harvested. Well, I was gonna say field 43 is not as expensive as field 51 and 50, and we could make that into a grass field. Um, but, well, I thought of that because it has barley in it, but it's been, well, harvested, so, uh, yeah, unfortunately, 
Now, also the 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 spots to buy are really really big. Like this one has two fields, which is a bit annoying because I might just be interested in one of those. So, like down here, like that's a lot of money. Uh, you do get three fields, but yeah, it's a bit annoying when I just maybe want one of those fields. <laughs> but oh well. This would look really good on the farm, huh? Uh, right. How much is grass equipment? So this is what we would need. A tractor, which we already have. A mower, of course. Which we could lease for 600. And then this thing, which we could lease for just 1,500. So 2,200-ish for collecting a bunch of grass. It actually wouldn't be that expensive to get the grass whatsoever compared to getting the bales and such. Uh, very tempting. Okay, so I was just testing the brushes here to see how easy it would be to basically clean up this field. It does cost money, but I'm not too bothered with it. Uh, because if I want to place a sheep pen here, I would like it to be, well, grass and such. So, yeah. Um... Here goes. <laughs> we, um... Well, I... I bought us... A sheep pen. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Um... Yep. I did indeed. Really hope I'm not gonna regret this. But there we go, I think it is in a pretty good location. It is in the corner, they have grass, next to the chickens, so they have some company. I hope it's not gonna add to the stress. Oh boy. But yeah, I didn't want to place it right next to the silo. Um, yeah. I think it's good. They have water here, automatically refilled. Now I should say, and I wish Family Simulator would make it possible to have animals in much bigger places, because... I'm all for free roam and I think it's called free range where they basically at the very least have like sheep and cows or whatnot have a big area where they can walk around in, they can have their shade but they can also run and stuff which they clearly can't do here which I'm really against stuff like this and I do know that some computer scheme uh, maps make it so that you can have sheep in a pretty big area and that entire almost field is dedicated for the sheep. So I wish Fabi Simulator would, in the game, make it so you could do that. Um, but yeah, of course, this is just a game. But yeah, it would be nice if they had that detail. But anyway, we have a sheep pasture now. And before we can have the sheep, of course, we need to be able to provide them with food. So yeah, we should probably do that. We are also just two months away from being able to have the canola, so we're going to be very, very busy very soon. But I think that I'm going to leave the grass collecting for next episode, because this episode has already is already 18 minutes long. We've barely done any tractor work, honestly. But I promise in the next episode, we're going to be doing a bunch... Yep, uh, uh, that to you too. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be doing a bunch of grass work so we can get uh, grass to the sheep. And I do wonder, final thing I want to take a look at is baling. How much a baler would cost. Like just uh, something like this. Well, something like this honestly would work. 1,100. Just so it's not piles of grass, maybe. Hmm. 2,400. That's honestly not too bad either. We couldn't make some grass bales for the sheep, so... Yeah, I don't know. We're probably going to do something like that. But that is going to be it for this episode. Sorry, it's a bit shorter. But we're going to jump straight to sheep work in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful and beautiful day, and goodbye.